Sean Ray here for MuscularDevelopment.com. I'm joined by the reigning and defending classic IFBB Mr. Olympia champion, Danny Hester. Danny Hester, you've got that title to defend coming up in a few short months, not too far away from here in Las Vegas, but let's get back to the beginnings. You've been here at Gold's Gym for quite some time, and we know there's been a huge evolution uh, going through these doors, and we've seen bodybuilders come here, camp out in their cars, do their career, and then they wind up back where they started. You're one of the mainstays here at Gold's Gym, Venice, so you've pretty much seen it all. As a matter of fact, I was here in 87. Tell me about your humble beginnings right here at Gold's Gym and what keeps you here. Well, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be here for so long because I have family. I didn't grow up more than an hour away from here. So, you know, I always had a home base. A lot of people come from another country or out of state, so it is a little bit more difficult. But I kind of already know what to expect being in L.A., being an L.A. boy, mm -hmm. you know. So for me, this place was just a blessing to have in my backyard. And it just allowed me, you know, the opportunities to see everybody, all the different generations. I've been here, you know, maybe 25 years or so. So I've seen all the different generations and transitions of, you know, the industry. And uh, so, you know, a lot of knowledge, definitely training styles and everything. And a lot of, you know, people that are hot and all of a sudden they're not. And, yeah. you know, so I've been through it all. And just, you know, the slow, steady pace, I just love it and enjoy it. And embrace everything about it you know it's about the struggle part of it you know being in LA like an actor or anything else bodybuilding you have your moments and you know you're done you got to realize you're done and you know help with what you can and you know contribute to the industry just like you are Sean yeah I talked to Brad Rowe earlier and he's a personal trainer and he says that you know it's very expensive being here at Gold's Gym you came out here from New Hampshire and we've seen a lot of people come out here we saw big Mike Matarazzo come out here from Boston and uh, some of these guys Barry DeMay came from uh, from Holland and of course, uh, Gary Stratum all the way from South Africa back in my day, and they put the work in here. The, the photographers were here. The acting uh, opportunities were here. You've seen a few people come through, some legendary people like the late Lyle Alzado and, of course, Hulk Hogan and and uh, a lot of other actors, Keanu Reeves. Uh, tell me about the experience with the celebrity factor coming into Gold Gym and kind of what does that do for a young bodybuilder that comes down here to train? Well, that's the thing is I, I you know, like I grew up in L.A. area, so for me, expense was relative mm -hmm. so I just knew that I had to make a certain amount of money I didn't see any other opportunities being somewhere else that was cheaper right. so you know it was not something stressful for me I just uh, grew up with that and being here in LA it really motivates you because you know a lot of it is about what you do and what kind of car you drive and you know some ways you can get tainted by it but I, for me it's motivating mm -hmm. you know and then you get a good support group around you and good friends you know, whether you're successful or not are going to be around you. And that makes it a lot easier and keeps your head on straight. You know, that way you can do what you want to do as far as you, what you're passionate about. And for me, it's about fitness. Being in here, you know, seeing all the celebrities, working with a lot of the celebrities and pro athletes, you know, you see their highs and their lows. And it's about being happy. You know, you definitely have to do what makes you happy. And uh, fitness, I think for everybody, the common denominator at Gold's Venice is no matter at what height or you know level or being high or low in your game that it's about being happy and fitness keeps you centered you know that's for me absolutely well talk, speaking of high and low in your game i just got done interviewing brian ansley who won the new york pro championships fourth in the uh, mr olympia but brian ansley was a guy that was standing toe to toe with you on that stage are you aware of the competition when you're up there because it's very different from my perspective than when you were competing as a bodybuilder classic bodybuilding is a little bit different so how is it different for you? Well, you know, for me, when they they said that they're going to have the classic uh, division, that's what I've been waiting for my whole career. You know, I've been you know fortunate enough to have contracts with some major companies all throughout my career, just being marketable, but not necessarily like the freak factor. You know, and I wasn't going to go there because I do a lot of you know sports, train a lot of professional athletes. So I like to move and be functional too. Mm -hmm. Not that athletes aren't, but if you get a certain size what's the payoff if you're not winning big money because the payoff to me is not there you know training a lot of athletes because they assume you can't move so they're not going to hire you so i would have lost work yeah. so keeping you know my symmetry and balance um and just okay on 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 the conditioning i never really try to push it hardcore because it wasn't really an end game for me to to go that extreme and i know you know being an rn you know i haven't practiced in 20 something years but just a clinical background of it i know it was very stressful for your body to get that conditioned but i knew i could always do it it was just when i was going to do it you know made that choice and so they came out with this classic division and i thought 
okay, I can do this. This is made for me, you know. And then I went into it and I just realized, well, you know what? The judges are still the same judges that judge the extreme. Unless they got new judges, they're not going to change their mentality right. about conditioning. They're not going to reward someone for less conditioning. So going into this last Olympia, I knew all I had to really focus on was my conditioning and push it to the level I've never really pushed it. And I saw it on the faces of some of the judges. They've never seen me. I've never seen myself in that kind of condition. But I knew I can always do it. Yeah, and when you did it, you did it in grand fashion, and you did it at the ripe old age of, what, 47, 47 years old? Um, but with that being said, I just interviewed Breon, and again, he's a guy that's of the opinion that potentially this could be the future of the sport, and that maybe there will always be that freak factor that people want to see the big guys, but this is more inclusive. You've got more athletes that want the small waistlines, that want to have this certain amount of condition, that want to look attainable and athletic at the same time. Is that something that could potentially phase out the big Kai Greens and the big Ramis at some point in time, like 10 years from now? Well, no, it's all about the money game, you know, where the money is, people are going to follow that, and then also how the judges are placing people. It's all up to the judges. You know, the fans can want something, they can say they want something, but where the money goes and where the judging is, I mean, in my opinion, I would have never gotten to the sport if it wasn't for guys like you that had the size, enough sizes that I'm you know, considered, you know, impressive, you know, so aesthetic looking and, uh, and healthy looking. And that's the thing to me is uh, it's all about the beauty and the art of the posing and everything. And hopefully that's what the classic is trying to bring back rather than everybody getting on stage saying how much they weigh. And their posing routine is basically like their guest posing routine.